Hey boobs, welcome to my channel. How are you do- I am freezing, but I did bring a hoodie. Sorry, I am, I am so cold. Um, oh, I'm so excited for today. In case you can't tell, I haven't had any breakfast, so this is just pure hyperness. I am freezing my nips off. Hello, British cost of living, can't afford to put my heating on. Excuse my hair and everything, I have just woken up, I did the school run, came back and BAM! Film! Welcome to self-employed life. You don't get time to sit down and watch a quick episode of Four in a Bed. You have to just film. So a few months ago, I filmed a video of me clearing out my wardrobe and I sorted through all my clothes, chucked them all on Vinted, and I just I had the biggest clear out ever. And it did so, so, so much good for my mental health. It just, it was so, it was like a palate cleanse. I've never tasted a palate, palate cleanse before because I'm a greedy, I'm like no face in that one scene in Spirit Away. <sighs> Clearing that out was amazing, but it left me with a lot of accessories that were in my bedroom and a lot of like random stuff. Remember the show you've been framed? And I've now got accessories just everywhere. And I don't really use my bedroom. I sleep in there, I shag in there, I get my clothes from there. Everything else happens in my studio because this is my space. This is my little room. It's decorated to my tastes. It's where I'm comfortable. So today I'm gonna sort out all my bags and all my accessories with you guys and put them in this room because they are currently scattered all around my house. I had bags downstairs, I had bags in my bedroom, I had bags in here, I had bags, bags everywhere. Um, but the reason I don't use my bedroom that much is because there's a lot of Ben stuff in there. My partner has a television business and a retro gaming business and he keeps a lot of his gaming stuff in the bedroom and in his room downstairs and there was just it's overwhelming so I'm gonna just put everything in my space and this is my this is my space. I'm gonna give you a quick tour because I have been finding stuff all around the house and I have been chucking it in three piles in this room because it wasn't that long ago that I sorted this room out and I did it amazingly but I have three piles and a trolley to sort out today right let me show you so this is the first thing this is the neatest thing of all so this is currently where I have some of my collars I tend not to really wear collars anymore um this is gorgeous this is from LVN custom leather absolutely love this it was handmade for me I have another one which was handmade oh my god this is from bound UK absolutely adore this the stand thing that it's on can you see oh fuck move bitch this um hook stand thing that it's on was handmade by bleeding marvelous and I got it at a horror convention how freaking cute is this I might leave this here but sort these collars out because I want to sell a few. Not this one. This one's mine. You cannot have this one. But like this Killstone one, I absolutely love it, but I have not worn it in years. And then this is my little table that my mum gave me. So there's my hanging thing. Here's my tabla. And I just have so many necklaces on each corner. Like I just have them on every corner. How cute are these? These are what um, Nico, she's a YouTuber called Gut Mouth, and she made these for me and they say Emily Boo. So freaking cute. And I have more at the back there. And I have like plugs in here. Um, I have all my earrings in here, but I actually have an earring stand, which takes me to, boom, this corner. So this corner um, has become like a dumping ground. There is just, Stuff. This is stuff that I want to put up on this wall. Like this ghost face mask, I want to put inside this frame and put it on the wall. I have some prints from Eternal Horror Store. I have my hats. So but, but basically what I want to do is put nails or hooks on this wall. Because this is, this wall, it's just, it's just green. And it's where I sit. Excuse the floor as well, it's not dirty, it's like paint marked um it's usually got rugs all over it but i'm they're in the wash at the minute moving my ring light and my tripod around in this room is so difficult because the room is so small if i stretch my arms out like i've got my fingertips on this wall if i stretch my arms out like i've only got to do a little lean loom back and i will be touching the other wall it's so small but that's why i like to have the walls different so it feels like when i do youtube videos that they're all different it feels like 
like different walls for different moods. Sometimes I'm in a green mood, sometimes I'm in a messy clad grey horror mood, sometimes I'm in a bug mood. So, I forgot what I was talking about. So, check out my top. This is from a small business called Little Scorpion Tees and it is a Amanda from Saw. How freaking cool is this? Handmade in the UK. I'm literally obsessed. Do I have any scissors? No, but I have a hammer. Let's try the hammer. Dumb ways to die. So many dumb ways to die. So I got these little like hook things to go on the wall. And what I'm gonna do is put them all down here and hang my bags off them. And I've got other hook things. I've just, I basically, I have bags guys and not just under me eyes. Wait, right, let me, let me move on. Cause this is gonna take so long. I found this in a charity shop and I picked it up and I was like, Ben, look. And then the lady went, I think it's a, a jewelry holder and, and it was a pound. I was like, oh, I can hang my earrings off this. I, I have so many earrings and they're just shoved in this, this little cup. But I can hang them off this! Organization Central! Oh, I didn't realize my hooks come with screws. But I don't do things like that, so I'm gonna nail them into the wall and complain about it later. And then that takes us to the last corner. What is it? It's not even a corner, it's a dump. This is where I have been dumping my bags because I am a bag lady. And I ain't talking about M&S and Waitrose. Can't afford them. I'm like a middle aisle and Audi kind of lady. Right, last corner. Last bit, this wall. Can you see all, am I just, my, is my big head in the way? All this stuff, all of it, all of it. This is all bags, accessories, belts. I've just been chucking all my bags down here because they've been spread around my house. They've been hanging off hooks off the back of my doors and I tend not to change my bag. I got this amazing bag from, oh shit, from Bleeding Marvelous. I'm gonna, Put a, I'll do a whole video where I'll talk more about it. I currently have a scream backpack from them. My rats have chewed through one of the handles and it's not broken, but it's getting there and I'm scared it's gonna break like when I'm walking through town and like I'm gonna have a final destination moment where it snaps and I'm so preoccupied I walk in front of traffic and an airplane sees it and crashes into me and then I just implode and shit on everything. So I'm gonna change my bag and I'm gonna swap it for this Bleeding Marvelous one. And I haven't had a handbag in so long. You can wear it as a backpack as well, but um, I'm gonna wear it as a handbag, but I am a backpack lady. But the best part, I'm gonna break it really. Guys, it's interchangeable. So I will, I know, I, I will get to cleaning, I promise. I just, I have to show you, like it's interchangeable. I can change the front of the bag. How freaking cool is that? So, right, I will talk more about that in a haul video coming up. Get in the bag. What's in a box? I have not watched that film in so long. So this will not be going up on the bag wall because I'm going to swap my bag for this bag. But everything else is gonna go somewhere. And then, I know I said that was the last thing, and then I have my trolley. Get yourself a trolley. You will not regret it. Well, you might regret it. This has become a dumping ground of stuff. Oh, hey, I. It's like, Oh yeah, my hair's green. I dyed it green yesterday. Um, and I was panicking because I didn't have any hair dye left. And uh, I missed a little bit here because I ran out of hair dye. Uh, no, I didn't run out of hair dye. My brushes. I literally asked you guys in my video recently, can you tell me where I can get some really, really, really thin brushes? Because I just got some new Jolie liners and I need really thin brushes. And then he's really, this is why I need to sort everything out. I will talk about this when I get to it. I'm gonna put all my makeup in here because I am a makeup hoarder. I have palettes that have expired and I just need to sort everything out and just find my inner peace. After I did my wardrobe clear out, everything was good. Everything was good. I cleared everything out and everything was good. So now I'm gonna do the same thing with this and I hope it happens again. So first things first. Move trolley, it's like you're Purposely ah! Just smack myself in the head with the ring light. Might knock some sense into me. So first things first, I am gonna pull this tapestry down. Um, I've had this up for years. It's like the moon one, but if I sit in the way of the end, people always think it says the moo and then 
Didn't even pull it. Okay. Well, that's the gods telling me to get rid of the moo. My Chucky picture. I got this from Horicon. Uh, from Insane for the Frame. I have another one somewhere. I think it's downstairs. I have a Friday the 13th one. It's really cool. It's got like, guts and stuff in it. It's awesome. So what I want to do is I actually want to take this off. Oh, this is my harness from Punk Grave. And you have to hang it up. So I'm going to have to like hang that in my wardrobe or something. Once it's not hung up, it loses its shape and you will never get its shape again. If I pull this, am I going to die? Oh, I was about to say there's only one way to find out. Oh, look at all the cobwebs on there. Like, I, I just do not dust. Okay, we have a green wall. We have a green wall. Progress. Okay, I can't see, like, because it's so bright. I can't see if I'm, like, actually in focus or anything. And I've got, like, camel hoof. Amanda, I'm six. So first thing I'm gonna do is put the nails up because my neighbors have gone to work, so there's no one home. So I know I can do that without them banging on the wall. These, I just showed you, didn't I? The Victorian hooks, where did I get them from? Deco shop. These are very nice, very nice. I do have some other hook things, which I got for my hats. My hats. Oh, they're right in front of me. And I got these off eBay. I'm gonna stick one on the wall and see how good it is. Cap hooks, and they were really, really cheap. They were like, three, four pound, and I got a whole bag of them. So I got these actually for my um, like wide brim hats to put up, because I have, well, I don't, not plural, I think I've only got one, but I have nowhere to put it. So let's, let's try this. Come closer. Is it gonna work? <clears throat> I mean, that's pretty good. I mean, I'm pulling quite hard, like not super, super, super hard, but quite, I couldn't swing from the chandelier on it. Oh. I mean, actually, I might be able to. I'm gonna fall. But, search through my bags. Ah, here's my hat. So I was hoping it would fit, like, my wide brim hat. <gasps> I did that. Stunning. Oh my god, I can't believe I actually did something. Is it gonna fall off? That's not gonna fall off? Because there's, like, a little hook bit on it. <gasps> Guys! I did that! Oh, help me, Dr. Sayers. Okay, well, I don't want that there, so. Oh, I've wasted one. I could just, it's not as sticky when you should pull it off. I've only just got to place the sticky bit. That's awesome! How awesome is that? So this is where I usually sit to film videos. I kind of want to put some prints, like the screen mask, but I want to keep my bags this side. So I come in and I've just got a wall of bags, but I have no order to what I want to do. I literally just want to, if I had a hammer, I bludgeon you to death. Oh my God, if I ever murder anybody, that is what they're going to use for the video, isn't it? The news, the signs were there, but no one put the puzzle pieces together. Fucking hell, the signs were not there. She's just a little bit mental. Right, I'm gonna put some nails in my coffin, in the wall, and we'll we'll take it from there. Um, I'm not gonna use the screws that come with the bolty these because that makes sense, and I don't do anything that makes sense. So I have these overly long nails that I'm gonna use. I know how to use a nail, I don't know how to use a screw. And I just realized that the, the nails that I have just go through the, the, they're gonna go through the holes. Look, it was going so well with these clip things. Something had to go wrong. What I might do is just use these anyway and, and like, it's fine, it's fine, I'll wig it. And just like not bash them all the way in and just kind of perch the hooks on like that. Like, cause, because I'm the only person it will annoy. And then when it does annoy me, it, it will be my fault. So I'm gonna do that anyway, because I don't have time to go to the DIY store. And this has been up for about five, six years, maybe longer, and it's making me cough. So it needs to come out and go in the wash. I've got badges on here as well, let me take them off. Everybody loves clowns. Well, some people don't. Um, I had a pretty addictive badge on here as well. I want to save that from the wash. There it is. My friend's band. Right, we're gonna attempt this and we'll cry about it later. Let's put one here. Oh, I don't like it there. Let's put it here. 
<laughs> Before anyone's like, what about your landlord? Bitch, I'm my own landlord. Where's the nails? Behind me. Look, I never said I was a DIY queen. I just said I was a queen. <gasps> Progress. Oh my God, I need my own DIY show. DIY, no. I only got five of them. And the reason I'm not using the screws is because I don't know how to use screws. I can't use a drill. Mate, if I put a drill in the wall, I'll start spinning. I'm gonna spread these out. So let's put one, let's put one up here. All these bags won't be like on video all the time, but that's okay because it's on my mind. Studio isn't for you, it's for me. There's already a hole here, so we're gonna go through. Oh. I don't know if you can see that, but that's better than I am. Okay, let's pull it back out. Ah, oh, shit. I don't have any more of this green paint either. Oh, bollocks, the wall's coming out. Look, I tried to do something fast and easy and it didn't go my way. Right, I'm just gonna bag it in, Ben. No one will ever know. To be fair, like, it's not that bad. Plus, if I put another nail in there, like, it's only gonna have bags on it. It's not the end of the world, calm down. I can already feel some of you getting so angry at me behind the screen. I can feel it in me waters. Why don't you just go get bigger screws? Bigger nails? Why don't you shut the hell up and enjoy the video? And let me do my DIY in peace. Oh, see that one went all right. Okay, so we've got two. Let me take this nail out because it's just stupid. I really should have planned this out, but I didn't because life doesn't always give you a plan. So I'm gonna cover up this little hole that I just made with one of these. Oh, I can cover it up with one of the sticky things. Sticky, sticky. Do you think that I could get some, licky licky? Maybe gets a little finger, sticky, sticky. <sighs> yeah! Okay, I'm only gonna put one more of these up because I'm bored of this. Back down, tripod, back down. That's a sentence I've never said to a man before. I've got a little... <gasps> My alarm's going off! Um, I gotta go. Uh, motionless and white tickets are about to go on sale, but I will be back in just a minute. Wish me luck. I gotta get tickets. Wish me luck. <laughs> I can't remember. I'm so, I am so out of breath. <laughs> I can't remember where I was at. My heart is racing. My heart is racing, but you're in. You're in. I had to get mine, Ben's, and two of my friends, or one of my friends and then his friends' tickets. So I had three people relying on me to get these damn tickets. And I, I was online 10 a.m. and I got them! So, London, baby. I feel like Joey from Friends. London, baby! Right, let's get back to this. I'm gonna put one here. Oh, there is a hole there. So let's go through that hole. Where there's a hole, there's a goal. Ugh, any weirdos say that. That's why I just said it. Damn it. If I bang them at an angle, <laughs> um, they might stay in a bit better. Now I'm gonna stick the funky things on. These. Can, I can practically hear some of you screaming at me. Put the bags on! Put the bags on first! No! I prefer organized chaos. I don't want things to be too organized. I don't want things to look too neat and tidy. I want them to be a little bit chaotic and a little bit messy and a little bit random. And, and that's, that's what I like. And I have like a, a bit here where a nail was. So I'm gonna cover that up. I'm gonna put one up here somewhere. I'll link th things as best I can in the description below. I'm going to see Motionless in White. I saw them at download last year and they were incredible. But their set was so short. It's nothing quite like them being on their own headlining tour. One, two, three, four, five, once a quarter. Fish alive! I might put some bags on here now because I need to speed this shiz up because I, I don't have a lot of time. Oh, but I keep flicking from back to front the camera, not, not my bean. I'm, I'm pressing stuff, I'm pressing stuff and it's zooming in and out. So what I'm gonna do is I think quickly go through my bags or at least put my bags in a pile so I can work out like what's gonna go where and I wanna put my screen mask in the middle of this. So I might do that now actually. 
So yeah, let's do that now. Where's my screen mask? Where's my screen mask? Oh, sorry. I'm gonna have to nail you, ghost face. Oh, I wish. I just do not have space. Like the point of this video is to make space. I do not have the space to make the space. This is infuriating. How do I have so much stuff, but yet not a lot of stuff? <laughs> Consumerism. I'm trying to get away from that though. Like I've been shopping, well, fell over. I've been shopping so much more on like Vinted and, shop and sites like that. So let's move all you. Ah, oh, what's this? Oh, I got this from uh, Attitude Clothing. It's from a brand that I have loved. I've seen them for a while, but I have never bought anything from them. They're called Blackened Teeth. And I've wanted a piece of theirs for so long, but they're so expensive. Uh, but this went in the sale on Attitude and I was like, get in my basket. So I got that to go because I thought that would go so well against the black. Am I colorblind? About against the green background. I just thought the contrast look, I mean, look, like I could blend into this really well. <gasps> Where's she gone? Right here, bitch. And I want to put this up, but I've just realized there's no hole. So I'm going to have to like bang a hole in this. This was a mirror I got from B&M for five quid and the mirror broke and I'm just left with this really flimsy plastic frame, but I don't want to chuck it away. I want to use it. So I'm going to put this on the wall with ghost face in the middle, like that. Like how cool does that look? There's a bag hook here, so it's good. So if I put that there, I'm gonna have to move that because that's just falling out of the wall. It's gonna go right here, right here, but it doesn't have a hole in, so I need to put a hole in it. So that's gonna go, the nail's gonna go right there. So I'm gonna attempt to hammer a hole without it breaking. Do you think it's gonna work? If you said no, you're a stupid idiot because it worked. Where's the hole? Oh, there it is. You're not a stupid idiot, I love you. Unless you're like a stalker that I don't love you. <laughs> now who's the idiot? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, guys. I'm surprised this worked. <laughs> I probably should have done the mask first, but hmm. Hey ho. Hey. So let's do one in the bottom. Ha. <laughs> um, in there. Is that straight? It doesn't matter. So glad my neighbors are at work. One of Ben's hairs on it, oops. <laughs> like I should've done the mask first because I want the mask to sit there. So oh, look, this is what happens when you're just impatient. Undo that one, cause that's not super tight. I'm going to see motionless and I can't wait, I don't. I'm gonna have to pull it off. Mask that. Don't move. And then that back in that hole. Okay, back you go. Oh, this is good. This is good. Oh, look at it. I want you all to look at it. Oh my God. Okay, and then I want the come closer mask to hang from the bottom. So that's gonna go there. And then we'll just hammer that back in. Oh, fuck me sideways. How cool is that? I did that, I did it. I did it by myself. And I've got photo video evidence that I did it by myself. So next I have this blackened teeth uh, little thing. I already have a hook here, so I might just hang it on that so we're not causing more nonsense. I'm gonna take a break from hammering. So much recycling. I'm gonna take a little break from hammering and sort out my bags and my hats. My Killstar bat, this, I don't know what this is called, but this took me so long to get and I freaking love it. It goes with everything. It's the perfect width. Every other wide brim hat I found was either too long, like too wide, too floppy, but this was just the perfect width. Sorry, my ferrets are out there going mental so you might hear them. But this was the perfect width and I, Oh, it took me so long to find it because they don't make it anymore. My covered in hair beret. This was a plain beret that I got from Vinted. Shh, ferret! 
and I've sewed some Tooth X nail patches on there. This is my favorite beret ever, and ber berets are my thing at the moment. Another one, more ferret hair on it. And this is from a small business called Atomic Goat. It just says full of woe, and Atomic Goat at the bottom, and the back is plain. A green one with some safety pins on, which I got from Primark, and I put the safety pins on myself. This one is, goes really well with my green hair. If I just want to add a pop of colour. Ferret, what are you doing? Being a nuisance! Um, if I just want to add a pop of colour to like a whole black outfit, this is the perfect way for me to do it. This little ghost facey bag, which I see everybody with now. Um, I bought this off Vinted for like seven, eight pound. And I thought, oh my God, I've never seen it before. I thought it was really, really cute. And now I see everybody with it. I actually got this to be my gig bag. So like when I go to concerts, I don't have to take a backpack. I don't like to take like nice bags with me to concerts or festivals and that, like places they can get ruined. This was my favorite backpack ever. Uh, it was from Ragged Priest and it was green, like neon -y green and silver chains. And I put it in a video of my favorites because it was my favorite backpack. And then I dyed it and I dyed it black before I realized that they actually bought a black version out. So if anybody has the black version of this bag, please let me buy it off you. But I have dyed this black twice and it just came out. Like it was this sort of color originally, but it's just come out like this horrible Shrek green, which I wouldn't mind. But being in the washing machine, because it was washing machine dye, because hand dye just did nothing to it, has made, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but it's made the chains go all coppery and they are no longer silver. And that's what I liked. I really liked the contrast of the silver heavy chain with the little, little backpack. So I won't wear this now. I'm gonna give this to a charity shop. I don't know if they'll do anything with it, but it's still a nice bag. It's just, I won't wear it. To the charity. My current festival bag. This has done me many a festival and gig. It goes around, around my waist and around my leg. And it's just so freaking good. I can have it in front of me. So I don't have to worry about people like pickpocketing me from the back. It was from Restyle, but all the charms fell off like after the first second wear. It does have a secret pocket on the back as well, which is really good because that sits against your body. So nobody's getting in that. I'm not gonna put this on my wall because this literally comes out once a year for festivals. So that is gonna go in my box over there. But this I got from Vinted and I absolutely love it, but I just haven't used it. And my rule is if I haven't used it in six months, I get rid of it. Probably gonna put this one on Vinted. Like I've got no bags for the bag wall yet. This is my band backpack and this has lasted me freaking years. It has been through so much. Straps are still together. I don't know how it is still going. I love this. I don't know if I'm gonna put this on the bag wall. <laughs> ah! The reason I'm not putting this one on, I was actually gonna give this to Violet, so. This is not going to go on the bag wall, so that's going to go over here. Okay. Yay, something for the bag wall. I have a gizmo bum bag, or as you Americans say, fanny pack. In the UK, fanny is something very different. It has a zip on the inside, and it doubles up as a hand warmer as well, which is pretty cute. Like, only if you've got little hands. But I freaking love this. This works really good as a gig bag as well. And, and you always see drug dealers with like the little adidas crossbody bag. Dude, step up your game. Get a gizmo crossbody bag. This is going on the wall. I have a couple of reusable tote bags. These are perfect for just festivals. I love canvas bags. Lush bag. Look, we're making a good, good gin. My, ooh. grass oh I could sell that got my cross stitch in here that I haven't finished for about three years I've got a shiwi if you are going to a festival get yourself some shiwis or pee bowls sorry pee bowl bags allows men women children to go for a pee anytime anywhere these are amazing you piss in the bag it turns the piss into lit into hard 
gel and it's amazing and it's all biodegradable and I have a Mary White tote bag which I got from download when I bought some merch that is also not going on the wall that I'm starting to think that the bag wall was a mistake this widow bag which my friend Liv gave me how freaking cute is that she gave me this for Christmas and I absolutely love it because I am a backpack girl. It comes in a dust bag though, so I kind of, because my room is gets so dusty, so I kind of don't want to take it out of the dust bag and put it on a wall. Oh my God, I, this is the stupidest video ever. Here's my bag wall, I'm not putting any bags on it. Another tote bag. I bought some Toothex nail patches that I'm gonna sew onto one of these bags and um, use it as my download bag. Maybe we'll make it a belt wall. Well, I've got shit loads of belts. I was like, oh, we'll have a bag wall. I've got no freaking bags. Oh, here's a bag. Here's a bag. This is my gym bag, but I don't go to the gym anymore. Oh, there's stuff in it. There is receipts from 2022. That's cool. Hope you got your parcels because it's been two years. There is a Jolie lipstick and oh, a handwriting pen. Oh, Violet needs some of them. Maybe that was hers that I stole. Does it work? It works! Oh my god! Save that for my daughter. That lipstick is definitely expired. That won't stop me because I can't read. These bags are so good. This is hell body bag. Perfect like shopping gym bag. This I will put on the bag wall because I really I use I do use that. Alright, this is this has been a cop out. I'm gonna turn the bag wall into a belt wall because I got no freaking bags. I had loads of bags, but I'm whittling them down and I have apparently no bags. It's gonna be a belt and hat wall now. This is a vintage studded belt. Like I freaking love this. This was my belt from my emo days of yonder goth when I was like snog marry avoid days. <sighs> we keep that. I got this harness from Vinted and I absolutely love it. But this bit is so tight, like it pulls your body down. So I need to DIY this somehow to make it just a little bit longer. So I'm gonna put that over there so I can do something with that. This is a Killstar harness. Um, I can't remember where I got this, it's like Depop I think. Um, but I, I really love this. I just don't know how to display things like this because they're difficult to, to display. Oh, this is a belt that one of you sent me. This is so cute. This is perfect for hiding my mum tum because it like swings over my hips. This is my favorite belt, which is from ASOS. And ah, I was gonna say I've lost the things, but they are here. And this is like the, the base of it. This is like the chain bit of it. So this belt sold out everywhere. Okay, well, I, I've, I've put it together wrong, but you get the idea. Palette. You've got one on the trolley, you've got to sort you out later. That's Ben's belt. This is my old Disturbia belt. I forgot I had this. This is why I'm doing this video, because I forgot I had stuff. I absolutely love this belt. It's so flattering. When it arrived though, it had loads of dents in it, but I um, absolutely adore it. It goes so well with just plain black dresses. Wig, that was for a video. I was gonna do a get ready with me where I Dye, where I did all my makeup and hair and everything, but I didn't use any black and I was gonna do purple, but I just haven't got around to it. Creeps Bill Belt, absolutely love this. I never wear it though, so maybe that'll be a vintage thing. It's a little bit like falling apart though, because it's so old. I could put it on really cheap though. Little Ursula bag that my friend Liv also got me. But she gets me some awesome things. How cute is this? I think it was handmade from a little Etsy seller. I was gonna say Itsy, Itsy Bitsy seller. Um, how cute is that? I have to stop my daughter stealing this. So I'm like, it looks too elegant. I feel like if I was ever gonna go to a labyrinth ballroom party, I would wear this. You are gonna go on the wall. And then I have loads of chains and stuff, but I will sort through those in a minute. So I'm gonna put my zero amount of bags on the bag wall now. Come with me, let's do that. Okay, are you ready for the big reveal? Are you ready for it? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I found this in my bedroom with jewelry on it that I have not worn in years. Like, I don't know where this belt came from. I don't know if that is a harness or a dog lead 
or both. There is a, oh, there's a jawline jewelry necklace. I didn't realize I had that. There is an earring that I definitely will not be putting in my ear. There is, there's some nice, oh, I love these tattoo chokers. There's some nice stuff on here. God, I wish you could talk to me, guys. I wish I had a friend. Let me get an idea. Oh, I hate it. Chains on there instead. Oh, see, that's actually, like, the contrast is a lot nicer with chains. I think I'm gonna do that. Let's put the bags up. Let's put the bags up. Ghost pasty bag. I can't believe there's, like, no bags to go on this wall now. I thought I had so many! But that's the thing, I do have a lot of stuff, but it's stuff that I don't wear, stuff that's broken, stuff that I need to donate, and that's what the point of this video is, because if I wasn't filming this video, I would it would just stay stuck in my room but this is my motivation oh i'll put it on the, oh let yeah let oh oh banging gizmo where you go i might perch gizmo on this shelf actually because i have stuff on this little shelf here it's really dusty because all the dust from the voils the voil curtains fallen down and made it all dusty let's give that a quick wipe this is my jack the ripper jack in the box So I'm gonna put some hats and stuff up. I can put some more of these boys up. These are so much easier. I would 100% recommend these sticky things over the hooks and the nails and everything. I just thought the hooks would be a bit more aesthetically pleasing. But then I guess when you've got bags and stuff on it, you're not really gonna see it. It's not gonna make a big deal. Right, give me, give me a beret. Give me raspberry beret. There's a beret. Oh, we're loving it. Let's put a beret here. Oh, no, no, let's put a beret down here. <gasps> there. Oh, oh, I did it. I did it. I did it. Like everything's covered in green hair or ferret hair. How nice is that though? Like, let me give you a little tour. It already looks so much bigger. And you can instantly tell I like ghost face, green and black and berets. Correct Amondo. My neighbors are back and I'm shouting about berets and correct Amondos. <gasps> I have some pictures to put up. I might have to split this into two videos because I don't think I'm gonna have time to do. Let me let me let me lower you. Let me get you down to my level. I have to sort through all my makeup and that trolley, but I, and my chains. But I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do that today because I can't be bothered. I have some stickers from the same lovely lady who made this T-shirt. Little scorpion tees, not tees as in like oh. Come here and spike me, you little crusty bitch. Like tees, as in t-shirt. And Maria, the lovely lady who makes them, sent me these really, really cool stickers. So I'm gonna put a few onto this black uh, radiator cover, just because I love them. Oh, there's one of my t-shirt. I might have to cut some out because they're not gonna fit. I don't know where my scissors are. I don't know where anything is. <sighs> Found some scissors, safety first. Real Love is Forever, The Crow. Mine and my partner's film, so we're gonna cut that out. I'm sorry, I'm ruining your amazing artwork. It just won't fit on my radiator cover. Is it gonna fit? Oh, it's still not gonna fit. Let's just stick it in there. This is my house, my rules. <gasps> oh, wolf it. What else we got? Oh, there are some little ones. Let's put some little ones. Romeo and Juliet! Saw. Ah, oh, the witch. We put that <gasps> cruel intentions. I love cruel intentions. True romance. Although mm, Christian Slater does kind of give me the ick. Scream! Oh, we're gonna put this on. We're gonna put this on the wall. I literally cannot have just a scream wall though. So I'm actually I'm gonna go and put it on that wall. There you go. It's on this wall now. Immortalized forever next to Jason. Let's put cruel intentions on here because that's what YouTube has against me. It wants to kiss me, but it doesn't want to promote me. Oh, I have some, yeah, I've got lots of stuff. Right, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm getting overwhelmed. I bought some prints from Eternal Horror Store. Let's put them up. I got, um, I got the crow. I got a crow one. So that'll go really nicely with my scorpion crow pit sticker. I got buildings burn, people die, but real love is forever. And I got, my, my, those eyes like fire. I'm a winged insect, you're a funeral pyre. And I got a sleep token one. And then I bought these little black A5 frames from eBay for 
oh, I think they were five pound for two. And I'm just gonna put these in these and make cool artwork. And I'm gonna nail these onto my wall. Why do they make these nubbity bits on the back of photo frames so difficult to open? I swear they do it on purpose. Do you know what? I really fancy a big Chinese takeaway. But it's not even glass, which is good because I broke the glass, the mirror from this. I break everything. So I much prefer like, is it Pyrex or plastic? Ah, oh, I'm just, I'm, I'm at such a high now because I just got, I just got motionless in white tickets. I'm seeing sleep token uh, at the end of the year. Oh my God, you don't fit. You said you were the same size. Why do you not fit? One of you's lied. Is it Eternal Horror Store or is it the, the frame shop? One of you has lied to me. I can't believe you've done this. Oh my God, I literally have to cut my print and it's gonna cut the bottom off. This is so sad. It's fine, I fixed the problem quickly so we can pretend like it didn't happen. Oh, see how nice does that look? And it comes with a stand so you can stand it up but I am going to probably break this but pull this little bit out so I can nail it onto the wall. Do you guys have any gigs or anything coming up? Because my health's been pretty shit lately. So I haven't been going out. I've literally just been working all the time. Just, you know, get more money, pay off debts. Work, 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 work. Oh, cut this one. I've got a few gigs this year, providing that I don't get final destination and I'm quite excited mm, so with these so it like oh see and, and the total cost of these because I got these she uh, eternal horror store had a 50% off sale so I got both of these prints for like six pound uh, like three they were like three pound each and then the frames were a fiver so the total cost of these were about 11 pound not too bad at all and small business the prints anyway, I don't know about the frames. So I need to find somewhere to put these. And I feel like I have more, like I have a pile of pictures over there. So I don't know if I wanna put some more on here, like, cause I intended actually to leave this white. Oh my God, am I stupid? I intended to leave this green, but I'm, I'm thinking like, cause I've put this here. I don't know if I wanna put these, cause I'll be, cause when I film videos, I'll be sat like, here. So if I had two prints there, that would look quite nice, wouldn't it? Oh, I've sold it, I've sold it. I've done it. I'm done it now. Try and stop me. Come as a bitch, I should have known better. If I had a wish, I wish I never heard this song. Let's put the crow one higher because that is our film with our beautiful, beautiful space. I think my neighbors are home now, so I might have to stop the banging soon. I might just have to start rage orgasming instead. I don't wanna mess up that terrifier sticker, so let's go there. Look at it, guys. I don't wanna be dramatic, but it looks pretty freaking good. And then I got these from, let me lower you so you can see. This is the most annoying thing about these videos is the changing of the tripod-ness. If you've been with my channel a long time, you might remember when I used to film in my bedroom and I think the background was lilac and I had like these bat stickers all over the walls and like that was my background. I would put them everywhere. I would put them up my bum if I could. Well, they're back. They're back. They're like plastic and you just bend them and then just, Stick them on. I got these from Attitude Clothing when I bought the black and teeth uh, thing. Cause these were on sale. Like I literally, like Attitude had a sale on and I had just been paid. This was before I was cutting my hours down at work. So I had some money and like, <laughs> now I don't. And I was just like, okay, I'll have a little look. And then I saw these. There's a nail under that one. Let's cover that up. Yeah, I saw them and they were really cheap. So I was like, oh, come on, let's relive early YouTube days. Bend it, shape it any way you want it. Summon the manner that done all the words. Oh, this gives me a new like 
aesthetic background wall, doesn't it? That's quite nice. I can take nice pictures against this. I didn't really bother with the, the last one because it became a little bit of like a junk corner. This is aesthetic. Oh, but that means I have to put stuff at the top. I found this print, which is from Witchin. I don't think they're in business anymore, but I'm gonna put this somewhere on this wall, somewhere up here, uh, maybe like in the top. I don't know what else to do. I'm gonna, I need to, shall I just like do a row of hooks and, and hang my belts off the hooks? Shall I do that? See, I've said that, I quite like that idea. Because all my belts, like aside from this one, well no, even this one, they've all got like buckles on them. So I could just hang them off the hooks and at least they would be together. I would be able to find them easier. I'd be able to come in and be like, oh, I want that, that black chain belt. Not that black chain belt, that specific black chain belt. Let's, 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 oh, let's do this. But if I do the belt wall, that means I've got to move this all around. And I'm just really happy with this. Like if I take this hook out, this back hook, I could just do a row of nails. How high does it need to be? As high as Snoop Dogg. So I could put them about there. I don't know how well you can see. Like, and that would look quite nice, I think, to just have a row of belts like that to about there. Okay, I'm liking this, I'm liking this. Let's pull this out. Oh, that was easy, that was easy. Look, we're already halfway there. I don't have a spirit level, so if this is not straight, don't even tell me. I don't wanna know. My neighbours might bang now. About there, so somewhere there. Don't touch me, box. Unhand me from your ways. Let's put a little dent in the wall. I'm not gonna be able to see that, but I must move that box instantly because it touched me. Do you think this is gonna work? Well, you haven't had faith in me this whole time, and like this is art attack level of greatness. So where's my mark? Where's my mark? I'm proving you right here. Like, um, oh, I think that was my mark, but I don't want it there. I want it somewhere there. So I'm gonna just shut up and nail it there, Emily. Do you know what? I'm actually gonna get a spirit level because it's actually gonna bother me if I don't know it straight. Level spirited away. I own tools. I should have grabbed a pen, but I didn't. So the only thing I've got to hand is an eyeliner that is the same colour as the wall. But we're gonna try and make this work. Let's try this. You gotta have faith, do do do. You gotta have faith, do do do. Okay, that is straight. Don't you dare freaking move. I don't know how wide the belts are. Okay, we'll just go there. Two and a half. What's, what's, what's five and two and a half? What's seven and a half and two and a half? Uh, shit, uh, this is fast math. I don't think I did that right, but you can't even see it. I can see it though. So it's not a complete fail. You gotta have faith, do do do. I think I know what I'm doing. I don't, but I do know I'm gonna go Chinese after this. Oh, my hands are so sore. I have really bad muscles and this is really hurting me. But you gotta have faith, do do do. I think these are gonna be too close together, you know. No, go that way, go that way. These are definitely too close together. Shall I try some out? See, that looks so nice. Oh my God, I love it. It's like I'm walking into Hot Topic. <gasps> In my pocket. Yeah, I like that. Well, I like two of them, so let's just keep going. Cause you gotta have faith. <laughs> gotta get that song out of my head. Give me a new song. So will you wake me up? Or will you drown me up? I bet this is what Frankenstein's monster's dick look like. I can wait for you at the bottom! I don't even know if this is how many belts I have. <laughs> but this is how many dots I did. And my neighbors haven't banged yet, so that's a good sign. Are you ready for it? Oh my God, suddenly I feel really sorry for my partner who has to just listen to, to this all the time. <laughs> Like, <laughs> I never really thought about it. This is Ben's life. <laughs> oh, I'm so dehydrated. I need a drink. Let's do this. I feel like we need a really good angle for this because this is important. Are you ready? Are you ready? Vintage studded belt. Oh, making simple plan proud. Disturbia, I choose you. 
Well, I don't. <laughs> One someone sent me. I choose you. Oh, see, this is really nice. I like this. Ben's belt that he always steals from me. I choose you. Oh, it's a fly. Get out of here, Jeff Goldblum. Run, no fly. This belt doesn't have a loop. How can I hang this belt? ASOS, you've literally ruined my life. Grab me a river. Oh my God, okay. So let's put the, the we're gonna have to move these about because this one's so big. Let's put you there, you there. And now that you're taking over me beret. So I put my beret on the top, okay. All right, okay, that's not too bad. You have ruined my life. I hope you know that, ASOS. You have, because it's got, you have to go on the end, you stupid belt. That was a good guess though. That's all the, well, there's one more belt, but I don't know whose belt this is, so I'm gonna give it to a charity shop. Right, I don't know what else to do. My energy's wearing off now. I've got, on oh, my hat. I haven't put this hat up. I need to find somewhere to put this bag. Somewhere to put these bags. So I've got four, three bags and a hat. Four bags and a hat, I've got this one. Four bags and a hat to find somewhere to go. No, 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 no. There will come a day. Da, 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 da. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Okay, we've got a lot of space at the top and we've got some space actually on this wall. I didn't think about this wall, but we're gonna, we're gonna utilize our space. In the corner. And I'm gonna put some stuff up here. I really like these, I'm, I'm really impressed. They also came in white. So let's put you up and let's put some hats on the wall. Oh, do you like my little pin board? I got this from a charity shop years ago. And if you recognize this pen, we can be friends. And there's just like old pins on there. This one doesn't have a back on it. I have loads of pins actually. They're in that trolley, which I will have to sort out in another video because I am not gonna have time to do it today. But I have somewhere for it to go now. I just realized there's like food on this bag, <laughs> like old food. And then there's paint on that side. It's gonna have to go high. So I might have to like put it up, up, like up, up, up. I do have a ladder there, but that's effort. When I've got a table right there that I can stand on and possibly break my leg. What about that? There's a hook already there. No, oh, everything's so difficult. Okay, I'm just not gonna put that bag up. <laughs> Where are you gonna go? There, I bet I can't reach you. Uh. <sighs> effort, I need a drink. I am so dehydrated. I think we've made a lot of progress today. Is there what else I could do? I've got like accessories and stuff. And I know I'm gonna find like more bags and stuff I wanna put up. I'm looking at the floor, like excuse all the paint marks. It's not dirty, I promise it's paint. I'm just looking at the floor and I'm just like, this is all stuff I need to sort out. Hair extensions, the chains, this is all stuff that needs to go in that trolley right there, which I was gonna sort out today, but I just do not have time. And then here's my little table with all these on it, like my Regal Rose necklace. How titanic -y is this? I love this. Regal Rose discount code, Emily Boo underscore RR15. <gasps> Use it, it helps my channel out. There's just so many really cool pieces, but I just, I don't have time to sort this out today. But this is how this corner's looking. It just, it's, yeah, it's like different. I like it, I like it a lot. I wanna put some more stuff on there. I feel like this needs more stuff. I have my witch in store picture. Go eat a dick. And this is from Rip Bambi. Um, I probably can't put that up because YouTube will demonetize me and it already hates me. On that note, I have this other Rip Bambi one. Call me, which leaves me with option number Kathra the one I was telling you about, the Jason with the guts and it's like 3D and I'm gonna give it a wipe because it's been in a pile of stuff for so long. Because this was in my living room and then when I changed my living room to a game room for my partner and our daughter, it got put in a pile and kind of forgotten about and then I found the bag that they were in uh, and then, and then here they are, bam. I think once I take pictures against this wall, it's gonna look pretty freaking awesome. It's not been too bad, has it? I hope this hasn't been too boring for you. 
because I plan to do all my accessories, like all my chains, all my makeup, and I and I'm I'm feel like I'm letting you down by only doing this one wall. But I am not even halfway through my accessories and makeup, and that trolley is gonna take so freaking long. But I hope I hope you're enjoying this. I hope it's not too like, will she shut the fuck up? Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna nail these in. I hope you enjoy watching things get nailed. Filth. Can't drunk, can't find a way, can't sleep, can't deep, can't find an escape from these dark, dark thoughts in my mind. Get off. Get off. What even are you? I don't even know what that is. I can go to the charity bag. I might have hammered that too much. Boom. I'm just thinking about that Chinese now. I'm gonna demolish that bad boy. I'm obsessed with this. Like, I feel like this should be in a gallery. Don't steal this idea because this is, I did this. <laughs> I know it's literally a plastic frame and a ghost face mask, but I did this. It's mine. I think it was just the witch in print, wasn't it? Cause I can't put the other two up. There. Actually, that looks really nice. What else should we sing? I need a song, what should we sing? Choo choo, choo choo, tabooga, woo woo, woo woo, tabooga, choo choo. You know, take me right back to the track, Jack. You know, I sung that in like primary school play. <laughs> Get out of the room, Jeff. This brundle fly will not piss off. Okay, this is looking nice. I feel like I need a row of collars now, like spiked collars. This one was from LVN Custom Leather and it's so sharp. Like this is, this could do damage. Um, and I used to wear this around my ponytails when I would have my hair up, but I don't really have my hair up anymore. But I feel like a nice row of collars would be something. Oh, I wanted chains, didn't I? I wanted like chains hung up somewhere. Motherfucker. Just you and I. Defying gravity. This is what happens when you don't organise stuff. Well, I mean, I could just leave that for the next video. That could be Monday's problem. I'll, I'll think I'll put my chains over there, like that gap. There's a big gap there. I'll put them there. There's even a hook or a nail. So chains will go there, but I'll do that next time. I might put a couple of hooks and just put a few, like even just one or two just because that looks really freaking cool. Because so I've got a few collars that, I'm just not in a collar phase at the moment. I think because I have all my neck tattooed and I just, I like that over collars. I'm gonna put a couple of nails in there. Plus this was handmade for me and I really love it. So, fun fact. We have an old lady that lives next door to us and Ben, my partner, has started helping her with loads of stuff. Oh, that looks cute. Um, he started helping her with like bringing our shopping in and everything, which is funny because when we moved in, she was so rude to us. She did not like us. No valid reason at all. She just didn't like the way we looked. But now she loves Ben. And Ben's favorite animal is a capybara. So Violet and I have started bullying Ben and calling his girlfriend, the old lady next door, Cappy Barbara. So every time Ben's home late from work, we're like, you been to see Cappy Barbara? He doesn't find it as funny as we do. Oh, okay, I like that. I might fiddle with that a little bit. Fiddle faddle, but I like, I like how that looks. These are, ra these, they're not quite like razor sharp, but they are very, very sharp. I feel like this is me. There's, it's a little bit of, Everything I love. You want studs, you want chains, you want horror, I got it. Berets, gizmo, kill st what? Hats, ghost face, Jack the Ripper, you want it baby, we got it. Half price for you, it's your lucky day. Emily's got wares. Right, what is the time? Because I have, I need to eat. <laughs> I think I might be done for this portion of the video. I think everything else might be um, like accessories, uh, like like necklaces and that. And I don't want to start that because that's a whole nother bit of project. I'm, like sorting out my chains because I got so many. I got so many. So I feel like I might leave this here. Maybe one more thing here. Let me have a look. 
Oh, this was handmade for me by For The Fly Customs. I like this because it's not too in your face. Like this one is a, I will fuck you up and it's really sharp. And this one's a little bit more subtle. And I can wear this one a bit looser so it just kind of hangs down a little bit. I'm gonna put that there, I think. Yes, I'm gonna do that. Where's my spirit level? Where's my green eyeliner? I should probably take this off the wall, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna guess the distance somewhere there. Ugh, Violet made me watch Wish the other day. When I saw the trailer in the cinema, it looked like one of those straight to DVD fake Disney films. And I just, when I heard it was, when I saw it was like an actual Disney film, I did not want to go and see it. I'm I'm a Disney adult. Um, and then, and then it's on Disney Plus and Violet put it on the other day and I was like, I can't believe, I, you know, I'm personally offended that it took a hundred years to make because bitch, I could have made that in 10 minutes. It was worse than Emma Watson in Beauty and the Beast. I will die on this hill. She is not Belle. She is not Belle. Don't come for me. No, actually come for me. I got a hammer. <laughs> she, uh, I, I take my Disney, I take my Disney very seriously. I'll tell you what I did love though. Um, we watched Wonka and I really loved that and I wasn't expecting to. Right, I have been doing this for about three hours. Um, I'm gonna go and have a break. I feel like now is a good time to stop. Might have a look around my house, see if I can find like little things to fill some of these gaps. But if I do, I will show you them like when I come back to do my accessories because I've got chains and things. I've got the trolley to sort out. I've got loads of things to sort out. And I feel like that and makeup is gonna be a whole nother video. Stay tuned for that. I'll put that, that'll be my next video. So my next video will be me sorting out my accessories and my makeup. <laughs> all my expired makeup. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I love organizing and sorting videos because I just find stuff that I didn't know I had and I love clearing stuff out. And I've got loads of stuff for charity. I've got stuff for vintage. It makes me really happy and I just, I love it. So I really hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. If you can, please do check out my Patreon because it really does help out my channel. It helps me continue to do this kind of stuff and hopefully you've really enjoyed it. If you are going to see Motionless in White, I will, oh, I'll go to London. I will fucking see you there. My throat is so dry. I will see you there. Much excited. Before I go, I have a massive shout out to do to Georgia May. Georgia May has the most beautiful hair ever. So I've just done my hair green, but before it went green, cause it was like purpley lilac-y blue. It was white. It was like, so I bleached the, the lilac-y blue out and it went white. Um, and then while I was scrolling on Instagram, actually Georgia May's Instagram story came up and her hair is like dark with a white fringe. And I was like, oh, why does mine not look that good? I just, I don't get it. Some people just look so good with white blonde hair. And then I just look so basic. So yeah. Thanks for that, Georgia May. Please do send Georgia May some love. I will put her Instagram in the description below, um, as well as all the links as best I can to like things that I have used. Georgia May, thank you so much for helping me continue. This is because of you, like literally, thank you for helping me continue to do this. And I, I this has been so much fun. And without people like you, I would not be able to get this. To, to do this nonsense so thank you so so freaking much you are amazing yeah right that is it i'm gonna go thank you so much for watching i will see you next week for like the part two i guess of me doing this room so you know to skip it if you didn't enjoy this don't forget to hit that subscribe button because youtube it hates me and keeps unsubscribing people and i will see you very soon with another video much love boobs take care of yourself and most of all stay weird